Welcome back. Today in the gadget shelf, we have the ROG Phone 5S and I will teach you how to downgrade this device using an official method. So there, there's no need for unlock bootloaders or custom recoveries for this. And we're going to be doing this as painlessly as possible. And hopefully this should uh, give you a better experience with the phone if you are having problems with the current firmware that is out on your phone so this phone is locked soft locked right now to 2109149 and it is that here we go it's one of the most stable versions that was ever put out for this phone i've been told okay so what we want to, to do is first there are three files linked in the video description and you should you need two of those files one of them is to be able to connect the phone to the pc in the android fast boot and then the next file would be the firmware and you can get the firmware from the official site and it will appear like this but when you try to extract it you can see that it only has these files inside so you can't really do much with it you need to extract the payload instructions will be from another website that has an extensive method to do it you can actually do it on your phone or on the on your pc if you have options right there the third file is an already extracted a pre-extracted file this is hosted in a drive that is not mine but i also have the same file um in another drive but it's a private drive right now i don't have any means to distribute it in uh in a rehosted met uh rehosted way well, right now if this ever goes down you can contact me and we'll try to find how we could do that because this is like you can see here it's over four gigs right uh, and when you further extract it this will actually have even double the size so it looks like this one all right so the first step is to put the phone into fast boot mode and we will we'll do that by turning it off and then preparing it by opening the side port here so you remove this from the side port you should understand that in the rg phone 5s the side port is the main port so it's not this one so this is while they say that this is the accessory port here it's actually the main port because there, that's where we will do the uh, fast boot not here okay so to do to enter fast boot you hold uh, volume up and then you press the power button so it doesn't need to be together at once you just hold volume up and then power on so you see this on top that's it cycles because we're pressing volume up so if you we just keep it at the start here so right now the phone is in fast boot mode we will connect it to the pc this is connected to the pc and it will turn up in the device manager be warned that you should be using the official cable that came with your device to do this now this is also an official cable from an older asus phone so it should work it did work so we connect it then it will appear in our device manager as there we go 
here it appears as an Asus Android device already because I have already done through this procedure. If it appears on your end as Android, only Android, you need to install these drivers then. Right, so just choose whatever works for you. All right, so once you've done that, you need to get this thing extracted and you will, after you extracted that, put it in a, anywhere, actually it doesn't need to be in your desktop or what, you find this file here, flash raw and wipe data dot command. This will wipe your device. So that means uh, it will remove everything that's on your device. So you need to have everything backed up before attempting this. So once you double click this, a command line will open and then you just wait for it to finish and your phone will reboot. You won't see anything happening here. It's all going to happen in a command line in, in your PC. So it takes a while. It takes a little bit like maybe around 10 minutes depending on how fast your system is. But when, when the phone restarts, it will have reverted to uh, whatever firmware we have right here, which is this one is 2109149. So we'll wait for the phone to restart and I will guide you through some steps to make sure that you don't end up writing over it. Okay, so now that the phone has restarted, so it is basically uh, wipe. As you can see here, it's notifying for a system update, which we don't really want. And um, you want to be turning that off all the time. You can see here that it's a silent, silent type of uh, notification. Because I put it to silent. It's just uh, trying to... Tell me again because I just restarted. So you just uh, remove that, X that out. And what we want to do is first we go to the settings and we will stop system updates from happening. So what when you're configuring your device, you can not connect it to Wi-Fi first if you can. And but what you want to do is go to system system update and then here in the gear icon you press this and then you set this to do not allow download and install updates manually so this will uh, prevent the phone from updating itself so you could keep your system in this firmware and then what you want to do next is go to apps and notifications and we will remove the system update notification so well so it doesn't it doesn't bother you the entire day okay so you just do here go to notifications uh you can see here it's silent disabled you you want to see all the app notifications and you want to turn off specifically device configuration then maybe my asus so that will keep your phone once it's you know initialized and you don't need to restart it it will keep it from trying to tell you to update your phone so that's it i hope this helps you and your rg phone 5s get free from any and all bugs that it that it's 
having right now if there are any and yeah subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to take care of your devices we are after all called gadget shop i will see you guys again take care bye bye